Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install the Windows Server 2025 on VirtualBox. First to download the Windows Server 2025 ISO file. Go to any search engine and search for Windows Server 2025 download. Click on the first link that is Windows Server 2025 Microsoft Evolution Center. I will keep this link in the video description. See here. Now click on download the ISO. Click on it. Now see here. Register for your free trial today. So this free trial is for 180 days duration. See here. Okay. After that it will expire. So to download we have to register. So we have to provide all these details. Then we have to click on download. Okay. So provide these information. Once you for provide all that information you have to click on download. Now, see here, we have the versions for different languages, like, see, we have these versions, okay, for all versions, we have the ISO, but for English, we have the ISO, VH, VHD, Try Windows Server on Azure, okay, so, we are going to download English version ISO downloads, so, click on the 64-bit edition, see, download has been started, go to downloads, See, its a size is 5.6 gigabytes. Wait until download completes. But in my case, I have already downloaded. So canceling. See, I have already downloaded Windows Server 2025 ISO. Okay, now go to Download Center. Click on System Requirements to install Windows Server. See, this is the supported CPU information. The minimum required RAM is 2GB for server with desktop experience, okay. And storage minimum is 32 gigabytes of space. Network, okay. See, these are the requirements. Once download is completed, now open Oracle VM Virtual Box. If you want to install Oracle VM Virtual Box on your machine, then, then there is a link in the video description. You can go through it and install virtual box so start see i have oracle virtual box click on it see i have windows server 2022 virtual machine is there to create new virtual machine for windows server 2025 click on new or select machine and select new both are same so click on new then you win 2025 vmo name can be you see this is the name for the virtual machine name can be anything okay so then click on folders then you have to select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. If you are okay with that, this default one, then it's okay. Then select the folder. Otherwise, if you want to save that virtual machine in specified directory, then go to the path where you have the NO space. Then create a folder. Then select the folder. Click on select folder. Now select the downloaded ISO file. Click on drop down, select other. Then select the downloaded file and click on open. See, once we selected, edition has, has changed to like standard evaluation data center and data center desktop evaluation. In bracket, see here, desktop experience. So, I am going with the data center with desktop experience. <coughs> Type is Windows, okay, version 64 bit. Then select this skip unattended installation. Then hardware, I am going to provide RAM as Minimum recommended is 2 gigabytes. I am giving 8 gigabytes. Then number of CPU processors I am giving to. Then hard disk. By default it has selected 50. I am giving 100 gigabytes. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on finish. Still if you want edit settings, click on select virtual machine from this list. Then click on settings. Then you can edit the settings. Or right click and select the settings. Okay, or select here and click on machine and select settings. All three options are same. Once you are okay with all these settings, then click on start to install the Windows Server 2025 on virtual box. Let me maximize it.
Now select the language to install. We have only one and select the time and currency format. I am going with English and United States. Then click on next. Then select keyboard import US only. Click on next. Now see here we have two options. Install Windows Server or repair my PC. We are going to install Windows Server. So select the first option. See next is grey dot because why? We have to select this checkbox that agree. Everyone will be agree. Everything will be deleted including files, application and settings. Okay. So click on next. Now select the operating system. I am going with but at the time of making video I told you I am going with stand Windows Server 2025 data center evaluation desktop experience. Then click on next. Now select the accept to accept the license terms select it now if you want to create partitions you have to click on create partition i want to use this entire 100 gigabytes as single one but if you want to create you can create by clicking on this create partition later also we can do that so select it and click on next also it will install on the same partition now ready to install so click on install see installation has been started See here, PC will, your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. Now see the username is administrator and provide the password. Confirm the same. Then click on finish. Now we have to log in. So click on input. Click on input then click on keyboard then select insert control all delete. Click on it. Then provide the password that we have set. Click on accept, close this one, minimize the server manager, now see here, Windows server data center evaluation and Windows license valid for 180 days. After that we have to purchase licenses and renewal. Windows run, now run the win, work and hit enter to verify the, the OS that we have installed. See, we have installed Windows server 2024 data center evaluation. And this see here, this is the version number and build number information. Okay, click on OK. Now, open File Explorer. Maximize it. Now, right click on this PC. Properties. See here, this is the device name. But, this is virtual machine name. Virtual machine name and device name are not same. So, to rename this PC, you have to click on rename this PC. And see here, RAM information, device ID, product ID, and this see here Windows specifications. See Windows Server 2025 data evaluation. And this this is the installation date and this is the build information build number. Okay. If you want to rename, click on rename this PC, then provide the new name. I'm going to give same as virtual machine. Then click on next. After that, it will ask us to reboot the system. See to effect these changes, we have to restart now. I am not going to do but to affect the changes we have to restart. So click on restart later. If you want to see the drives information click on this PC. See this is the drive and CD DVD mounted with Windows Server 2025. If you want to unmount right click eject ok or go to virtual machine then select here click on it then remove disk from virtual drive ok. See now it is gone. Again, if you want to get it, go to virtual machine, then click on empty, select it, it is there, now go to PC, see here it is mounted, ok. So unmount it, eject, so it's gone, here also it is gone. If you want to stop, click on start, 
then click on shutdown power then click on shutdown click on continue okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install windows server 2025 on virtual box for more windows tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you